G'day fellas and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing another 5 year rebuild, but this time around it's gonna be Rice. They're a 2 star school, 75 overall. Remember, if you want to watch these done live, I stream every single one over on Twitch, Twitch TV forward slash Perm Crow. It's the second link in the description. Hopefully, I will see you guys there. All right, looks like there's seven and six in the previous year. This is back in 2013, so not a lot about this matters. We're going to go get a look at the team, see how they look, see all we can do. Remember, if you want to do one of these at home, I definitely recommend being level 15 for this. It means that you get Kitchen Sink, which is without a doubt the most important ability you can get. It means that you can compete without being too overpowered, which is the point of it. So in case you guys didn't know, my boy Javorni Johnson is without a doubt going to get the start. Freshman red shirt. Unfortunately, he won't be there the last year, and I'm sorry, but Mike Collins will not be our starter. Running back, I remember Oto Viano. I did do an offensive coordinator dynasty. Austin Tremell has progressed quite a bit. I remember uh, Zane as well. Really freaking fast player, dude. The team looks like it's in a good spot to start out, honestly. The O-line, we're gonna have to replace a lot of players because there's a lot of seniors, bro, which is a big problem. But hey, let's get to work. We're only a two-star school, so it might be hard to sign somebody so early on. 71 overall quarterback, Jason Madison. He will be a backup to Javorni his entire career, but that's okay. That's okay. Another quarterback. He might also be a backup his entire career. Woo! Willie Jordan. Okay. He's still not going to start over Javorni, but I do like the hustle there. So Sean Johnson going to be on the board. So is Tyler Maxwell. They're the only players I'm really interested out of here, I guess, to an extent. James Madison as well. We'll slide him up. All right, so we got on Lowlock Cheese Week 1, a couple of four-star studs, if you don't mind me saying this. Running backs are 472, but that's a lot of four-star players. Keep in mind as well, to everybody watching on YouTube, the first year is by far the most important year because these are the guys that will be seniors in the fifth year, the final year. So the better the players we get now, the better the rebuild will be overall. As we go on, the recruits get less important, unfortunately, but hopefully we can find some gems. Nice, we do pick up Willie Jordan, the athlete. I thought he was a guard. I don't know why I thought that, but Sean Johnson, also gonna commit to the squad. Uh, we might get fired. That's the only issue we're running across right now. And that is a problem, we're one in four. I'm not trying to lose and get fired, man. See if we can find any more gems lying around. I do not like this 472 speed running back. Okay, four-star athlete. And it turns out that Ronald Hancock runs a 442 and is six foot seven. Ooh, I can't wait to find out what this guy is. All right, Ronald Hancock. Let's see what this guy might be, because this guy is going to be, without a doubt. He's not a quarterback. He might be a running back. 79 overall. Six foot seven wide receiver. Hello slash running back. Yo, bro. This guy is the best receiver I might have ever found. Wow. Okay. Uh, he's going right to the top of my board. I like this guy. He's a running back as well. Slash wide receiver. We do get Tyler Maxwell adding a guard. We're two and six. No, USC, don't take my guy, bro. USC is actually gonna take Ronald Hancock. Alabama did this to me in the last rebuild as well. Woo, okay, Brandon Lowe is going straight to the top of the board. That is a 12 overall gem right there. He's got a lot of good schools going after him, but I think we might be able to, you know, slide in there. Wow, big win over North Texas. Maybe we won't get fired. All right, Ronald Hancock is ready to visit. We did. We just got a coach skill point, which means we can put it into this lock one, which means if we do get locked out, we're going to be able to break back in. We have the lead on Ronald Hancock. Let's go, boys. Ronald Hancock, we got the lead on him. I don't know what happened, but he dropped down a lot just then. And he's ready for a visit. So I'm going to do it the week after USC. Glenn Mackey as well, going to bring him in for a visit. Thomas Nelson as well. This class, all of a sudden, if we get Hancock, is going to be really, really solid. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. So we do get Glenn Mackey. That's very, very, very good. 
going to be a great prospect for years to come. I just didn't see the other guy, uh, Hancock. So we're going to have to see how this goes. What? Thomas Perry is 80 overall from LSU. Wow, 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 wow. That is a very good signing to get. I will gladly take that. I think he signed with USC, bro. I think he signed with USC. Oh, man, really? We only signed seven people in that class, bro. That sucks. That's really tough. That would have been the greatest receiver to have, but it is what it is. You just can't win. Brian Holmes, 78 overall right end. Okay, not bad, not great. The class wasn't that good only because we barely signed anybody. That, that makes sense. And we went down overall. So this next season is going to be interesting. Very interesting to say the least. So Willie Jordan, we signed him. He's a sophomore. I'm definitely going to redshirt this guy straight out the gate. Uh, Otto Viano is only a junior, so that's going to buy us a little bit of time there. We signed a lot of really good receivers. Good to see. We did also get that guard. The only problem is we're, we're in a bad spot. We're in a bit of a bad spot, mate. Okay, hopefully we can get our prestige back to level two. We did lose a prestige level. We're in a bad spot right now. We are down bad. We're going to make it one, play, one year at a time. Season two is going to have to be a really, really big year. Not only do we have to get great talent, but we have to get a lot of it as well. All right, here we go. Not a bunch of great talent, but we kind of knew this was going to be how it was going to go. I'm just going to try and get any 70s I possibly can. Okay, 81 overall gem upon her. Time for the low lock cheese. Please, I need lots of four stars, five stars. Players out of this world, they belong on Mars. Higher than the stars. Faster than cars. Jermaine Fagan, 77 overall, five-star wide receiver. Robert Campbell looks good. A lot of four-star athletes right here. I like it, I like it. A lot of receivers. We need gems, absolutely. Four-star wide receiver runs a 4-3-8. DT, defensive end. Outside linebacker, guard. Woo, Chad. This is starting to get nice. Okay, more athletes, a middle linebacker. Even 18% was very generous to us. Nice, Corey Wallace, 74 straight out the gates. I, I need, I need, I need somebody, bro. There we go, 77, we're back on the up and up. Give me something. I want more, I want a, I want a gem. Give me a gem. Yes, Sean Moore, great start. 83 finesse, let's keep it going. There we go, Jerome Alford, 79 overall tackle. That's what I need, more of that. I'm going to take Jermaine Fagan, that seems like a no-brainer. We're going to come back in next week anyway, so it's all good. Big dub over North Carolina, 49 to 42. All right, our crappy coordinators go up to level two. We signed the punter, 20% on a cornerback. I'm going to try and pick this guy up, Chris Wright. Okay, I don't think we're going to be able to get Jermaine, but that's that's okay. That's okay. I'm willing to not have that guy. All right, do we believe again? Let's see what we can do. Starting out with a gem. Love it. Chris Wright. Three-star prospect. Found him out of nowhere. There's a big 700. Okay, trash. Eric Dixon. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! 98 speed, 94 acceleration. Wow, Eric Dixon looks like that dude. I think he might be a Juco, but... That sucks that he's a Juco, but that is a big boy pickup. Rank 9 UAB, we beat him! We beat rank 9 UAB. Let's go. I don't know why they're rank 9, but it doesn't matter. We beat him. So it's looking like the lead is starting to become ridiculous on a lot of these players. Big time lead over Eric Dixon. I'm still going to keep 300 on just in case they decide randomly, hey, I want to go after that guy because uh, Rice is going to get him. This class is looking a lot better than the last one. All right, Andrew Mullen, Sean Moore, Jerome Alford, and Robert Campbell all going to commit. Very, very nice. And Eric Dixon is ready to visit. All right, Eric Dixon gonna sign, Daniel Simpson gonna sign, and Anthony Burnett gonna sign. This class is a million times better than the one we had last year. All right, Brad Rosner is gonna declare. Do you want to stick around for one more year, mate? Uh, he will not regret staying to get his college degree. Awesome. We are gonna lose out in our free safety, and we got, we got a lot of cornerbacks to replace. 
Montero is going to be a big loss, but we'll be all right. All right, that's a really solid class. A lot better than the other one. I do kind of need this defensive end though, and I also kind of need Charles Parham. All right, we pick up Matt Sanders, Charles Parham, and Dan Jackson. That's really good for us. We signed the top class in the conference, and we signed a top 25 class. We got the 16th best class. We're up to a two-star school now. Six four-star players, nine three-star, three two-star. Brad Rosner is officially our best player. Javonni Johnson, got to go up to an 87 overall. He's a junior now. Our backup quarterback who's behind him is up to an 82. So yeah, it's pretty much just cornerback, linebacker, and then best available talent after that. Just for a little bit of background context as well, we're up to B, B plus, and B minus as well. So in two years, two off seasons, we've completely turned Rice's team around, mate. And it's only going to get better. Linebackers, I need all of the linebackers. Gimme, gimme. You're not a linebacker or a corner? I don't wanna see your name pop up, mate. Four-star cornerback. As my game lags for the 50th time today, this cornerback's name is Tim Martin. 6-1 runs a 4-4. I will gladly scoop you up. Best talent available as well as cornerbacks and linebackers. Five-star wide receiver, Jeremiah Hayes. That wouldn't be a bad pickup. Another safety that could potentially move to linebacker. Defensive end that could potentially move to linebacker. Four-star cornerback, Nick Webb. 4 3 8, 40. I will take that gladly. Now, show me the offensive lineman filtered by Low Lock Cheese. 605. Ah, uh, that's not going to be good enough, I don't think. So, no. But if that's all I can get, I might have to take it. Yeah, I'm going to have to take the two 605s. Not that I want to. But we got to do what we got to do. Woo! Bradley Tremblay goes from a 58 to a 70. Wow, wow, wow. Now that is a gem. Chuck him to the top. There we go. Nick Webb turns out to be an amazing cornerback. 85 man, 84 zone coverage as well. Sean Thomas looks okay as well. Not the running back is like a huge need. Another gem there. Another Sean Johnson. We already have one. 78 overall. Another cornerback. Yes, we got corners for days now. It's a shame we got him so late into the build. Would have preferred it a lot sooner. Ah, there we go. Do we believe, chat? Chris Thompson. 78 overall. Can you be a linebacker? You're another gem. You're a running back. Ryan Barrett is another running back. I'll leave him in there, but I don't know if I'm going to continue doing him. All right, we're going to pick up Corey Campbell and Tim Martin. Now all we need is linebackers, bro. Home stretch of season three. Awesome. We pick up a middle linebacker, linebacker, DT, offensive line, and a quarterback just in case our one decides to bail. Seven and five isn't exactly the greatest record. But I am very surprised at how many teams in the CUSA, which is our conference, are uh, doing really well. It's almost like they're rebuilding right next to us. We get Travis McCauley, Brent Jackson, Ben Robeson, and Josh Hall. Signed the top class in the conference. That unfortunately was not a top 25 class though. Everybody's favorite part of the year training results. What do we look like? Ignore the senior red shirts. These guys don't really matter. Even Javonni Johnson doesn't matter in this situation. Uh, Josh Evans will be over a 90. Willie Jordan will be over a 90 as well. We'll have Glenn Mackey who will be a senior. Yeah, the team's gonna be stacked, bro. The team will be stacked. Not as good as I would like, but still good nonetheless. All right, for those of you watching on YouTube, this is season four and we don't need to recruit anymore. The team is pretty much done. It's more about just progression. Training results this year is going to be massive. We're also going to lose a lot of players in the process. And I mean like probably about 15 players that are in the 90s are going to be leaving the team this year. Checking out Rice in season four. We are BB and B. Wow, this rebuild really not going our way. Our offense dropped down from a 91, but our defense went up quite a bit. So we're more of an overall balanced team now. Bro, we pumped Stanford. So for those of you watching on YouTube, I did have to stop in week six because we are now 4-0, ranked 19, but the teams that we beat, two of them are ranked. It says first real test. That is uh, not at all true, not at all. 
But looking at the rest of our schedule, I mean, Tulane is eight. We should be able to go undefeated this year, potentially. All right, we are going to be taking on Tulane this week. They are better than us, and they're at home. Come on, gods, let us win, please. Just let us win. Yes, 49 to 30, let's go. We're going to the natty, bro. That's it, we're going to the natty. Bro, how do we lose to Mid-Tennessee State? This is Bowling Green all over again. All right, we finished the season rank 9, 11, and 1 after that horrible loss. Let's see if we can pick up this dub versus FAU. We would be going to the Rose Bowl. But of course, we're going to get pumped 14 to 49. So season 4, we go 12 and 2. Of course, we're going to get an extension. Wow, our offensive coordinator is level 19. DC is level 15. Look at the talent we're losing. Javorni Johnson is going. Uh, we're losing our left guard. It actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought we are going to lose a lot more than that, but that's still pretty bad. This is going to be the last training result of the... Wow, okay. Josh Evans a 95. Our quarterback is a 95. DT's a 94. We got two really, really, really talented receivers. Free safety's up to a 92. Yeah, this team is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. We have a lot of very, very, very solid 80. A lot of 90s. I like it, bro. We're going to dominate. And our coordinators are 19 of 15. All right. So we start off the season against Penn State with our brand new coordinators. This is going to make our players overall better before we get the final reveal of what our team is looking like. All right. Here we go. Our overall is... A minus, A minus, A minus, and A plus overall is Penn State. So that's tough. We're probably going to lose our first game. Colorado State, they might play upset too. There you go. Fucking knew it. Told yous. Oh, it doesn't look like we're going to make the natty because we're going to lose to Rutgers on the road. How are we losing to Colorado State and Rutgers? So UTEP could very well be an L as well. Yeah, we lost to UTEP. 93 overall. Uh, Rice lost to UTEP. And we lost. All right, rebuild's over, ch chat. We did not make the national championship because we cannot beat Tulane, Rutgers, or USF. I guess we're going to play it. Let's go check out the stats to finish out the season. See how we did. It's kind of unfortunate, but our Willie Jordan, 2,733-6. He didn't play too bad. Kalan Griffin. 1,302. Sam Black gonna run for 800. Nobody too amazing on the receiving end. That is very unfortunate. Offensive line was amazing. Defense was great as well. Not a lot of sacks, but a lot of TFLs. And uh, not really a lot of picks. There was a couple there. I just wish we got the better players at the beginning. They are down bad. Oh, wait. I'm starting to come back. Come on, Rice. Get in the end zone, mate. All right, let's go. Quarterback is a 99, apparently, somehow. I don't know what that guy's doing, but Willie Jordan. Nice little gain there. Let's go. Step back cheese with Mackie. Step back cheese. Let's go. We actually have the emotes for it now, chat. Circle, Dotty. Easy touchdown to Evans. Josh Evans, that is. Just to rub it in, just to prove that we are, you know, the superior team, everything in between. We're gonna pick up the dub, finish the season five, nine, and four. In terms of a natty, this rebuild was not successful, unfortunately. Willie Jordan, final game here at Rice. In terms of rebuilding the team, we turned Rice from a 70 overall one star school to a 93 overall four star school. That is what I would call a successful rebuild. Fellas, if you made it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace.